We're on the scene of an active shooting investigation. A woman drove to the Delta employee parking lot right behind me with a gun where shots were fired between her and a Clayton County police officer. Now with the move to curbside recycling, Bolton said many of the drop-off locations will shut down. Normally on a hot day, this pool would be filled with kids, but now it's all locked up. You can actually see where one of the bullets came through these mailboxes and hit the victim over there. You can see just how fast these cars are going. When I talked to the Georgia DOT spokesperson earlier, he said at the very least, these workers could have called local police or used cones. Today is all about digging up the old and replacing it with the new, so the garden will be ready for summer. Despite the chilly temperatures, about 10 volunteers gathered at Chesney Park ready to work. They spent the day beautifying the community garden. Residents told me stories of floating refrigerators, water waste deep, and sunken cars. But some people were most upset that they got no warning from their landlords. Uh, I started out getting high at 13 years old with my dad. For 23 years, David Parnell lived a drug-addicted life, quickly spiraling out of control. Meth and... Uh, and I knew from the first time I used it, that was going to be my drug choice. When I sat down to talk to him, he described himself as a binge user. At times, going 10 days straight without food or water and only meth. Until one day, he decided to end the misery. I thought my wife and kids would be better off if I was dead. And I took an SPS assault rifle and stuck it under my chin right here and pulled the trigger. And the bullet went in here and it come out up here between my eyes, breaking every bone in my face except my left eye socket. After years of rehabilitation, Parnell travels state to state, sharing his message of addiction. Parnell says he targets junior high and high school kids with his message. Chuck Wilson met Parnell at a conference and brought him to Topeka to share his story. To get those young people, you know, involved and, and to warn them not to go where David's been. Parnell's campaign is called Facing the Dragon. Timothy Sanders, a retired combat veteran who got into drugs after coming back from Iraq, says he truly believes in the message Parnell sends. What um, I connected to and, and, and what, I, what I thought was so profound was um, how meth um, just takes a hold of you and you become a whole different, like you're like, like the hawk, like a whole different beast. Parnell says he feels like his life has a purpose now and through his presentations he has touched countless lives. Write stuff like uh, Mr. Parnell, I decided to go to rehab and try to get off a of dope or I've never used and after your program I just want you to know I'm never going to use. That's always a beautiful one. And with that, the newly renovated Garfield Family Aquatic Center is open for business. I really like swimming and today is the big opening for this pool. According to officials from the Parks and Recreation Department, the renovation required a year-long project from demolition to the new water slide fountains and diving board there now. And Councilman John Alcala says the pool benefits his neighborhood because it gives kids a consistent activity during the summer. It's a place that occupies a lot of time during the day. You know, a kid can come here and swim and be here for most of the day. And from the looks of it, that's exactly what they do. We live across the street, a few blocks down, so we come here every day because that's what we just do. We hang here, we swim until we swim from open to close every day. City officials say the new pool helps improve the quality of life, not just in North Topeka, but the entire community. Garfield Park is a fixture in North Topeka, so North Topeka benefits greatly by it being here with the community center, the, the shelter house, and now the pool. This fast food chain is doing some fast hiring. If I was to hire them, I would give them a call within two days. Nationally, McDonald's wants to hire 50,000 new employees, so that calculates to about three to four new workers per restaurant. But it's not just about hiring. We're trying to dispel the idea that a McJob is a dead-end job. There is a lot of potential. There are career opportunities. The application process is really quite simple. You grab a pen, an application, and a questionnaire, find somewhere to sit, fill it all out, and then wait for your interview. They would have to have a good personality, nice smile, 
um, be willing to work, get along well with other employees, um, very customer oriented, oriented. The questionnaire helps employees narrow down the candidates. The results come back green, yellow, or red. Green is good and increases your chance of being hired. And for some potential employees, a green mark would be the go-ahead to a new beginning. I'm trying to get back on track of working and taking care of kids at the same time. And some saw the Golden Arches as a gateway to future success. I'm trying to finish school and I'm trying to get money. I want to go to school to be a pediatrician. Hello and welcome to NABJ TV News. I'm Erin Rogers. The number of lightning related accidents has been incredible this summer. Now the latest on a major drug bust. It's no secret that the National Association of Black Journalists has withdrawn from unity. Some members think they will miss out on certain opportunities. A new trend in Philly is frightening residents and has some questioning the lack of action from the community. I spoke to a few residents who were concerned about their safety and the picture it paints of the city. Emergency workers allowed residents into the city today around noon to check their property. People cleaning up their homes could stay in town after 6 p.m., but had to be inside by 9 p.m. Aaron Rogers, 27 News, KSNT. Some residents told me that since they didn't have flood insurance, there's nothing that can be done and they'll have to start all over. Aaron Rogers, 27 News, KSNT.